Hi, Alex Rocatelli here, Forage System Extension Specialist at Oklahoma State University. Matching the herd size with the amount of forage production is key for a successful operation. However, year to year, the forage production and pasture change, and we need to accommodate our operation with those changes. So, in a dry and hot year, we can have low forage production, therefore we need to reduce our herd size. On the other hand, in mild temperatures and wet conditions, we have a higher production and we can increase our herd. However, the question here is, how many animals I need to increase or decrease in according to the year? Well, this answer can be done correctly using the grazing stick. At the first glance, the grazing stick looks like a simple yard stick. However, this is a complete measuring system. The Oklahoma grazing stick that I have here has not only a yard stick for you measuring the forage height and cover, but also it contains tables, equations, and guidelines that help us estimating forage availability, number of animals, and also number of grazing days. In this video, we will focus only on estimating forage availability. However, keep in mind, the grazing stick can offer more than that to us. In order to measure forage availability, we need to have two measurements, plant height and canopy cover. For measuring plant height, you need to place the grazing stick facing with the roller vertically to the ground and so you're going to measure the height of the leaves. In order to do that, just place your hand exactly where the leaves start and gently push your hand down. And from there where you find a little resistance from the leaves, you are going to record the height. Never record the highest plant or pull the leaves up for recording. If you do that, in our calculations, you you overestimate forage availability and so you're going to overstock your pasture. For measuring canopy cover, what we need is to take the grazing stick with the roller face up and slide into the canopy. And after that we do that, we need to stand in front of the grazing stick. And so we need to count the number of inches from inch zero to 33, that is less covered than 25%. In this case here, I identify three inches marks that are less than 25% covered by the vegetation. In this case, I will take 33, that's the number of inches that I look at it, and subtract the three that has less than 25%. So I have 30. If I multiply 30 by 3, I'll have 90. 90 is the amount of canopy cover that I have, in this case, 90%. An important point here is how many pairs of readings, plant height and canopy cover, should we take in a pasture? I would recommend take from 15 to 20 readings pairs of readings. Take those readings in a fashion way. In other words, don't choose the high yielding locations. In this case, you're going to overestimate. Or the low yielding locations. In this case, you'll be underestimate the forage availability in your area. Also, for avoiding underestimation, avoid under trees readings, close to water places, and the feeding locations, and also where the animals rest. Normally those places has less forage production. Now, after that you take your readings, what you need to do is average them. You average the 15 or 20 plant heights and also the canopy cover. And let's say that we found out that we have averaging 90% cover of Bermuda grass. In this case, you're going to look in the table that we have here 
in the grazing stick and do you see that for 90% cover we have around 375 pounds of forage production per acre inch. After you are going to take your plant height average. Let's say that in our example here we have six. The first thing that you can you need to do is exactly subtract the minimum stubble height for Bermuda grass that need to be left in the field for good regrowth. For Bermuda grass that is two at least, two inches. So you subtract six from two and you're going to have four in inches of available forage. So if you multiply the four inches by 375 we are going to have 1,500 pounds of forage per acre in this case. Finally, I would recommend that you read the fact sheet Plant Grazing Management Using the Oklahoma Grazing Stick. This fact sheet actually is a complete guideline for how to use the Oklahoma Grazing Stick. That has information not only on how estimating forage availability, but also how to estimate the herd size and the available grazing days. For more information on forage production, on how to access the fact sheet, or how to acquire to obtain your grazing stick, please check the links in the description below of this video. And as always, thank you for watching.